It's a 28,000 square foot mansion that offers more amenities than most Four Seasons. An indoor basketball court, a multimedia theater, a gym with around a dozen machines, a game room, office, pool with fountain. All in all, not a bad place to call home for nearly 20 years of your life, especially if throughout most of that time, you claim to be broke. Paul Bilzerian, a Wall Street felon, jokingly referred to this house, located in an exclusive gated community in Tampa, Florida, adjacent to two lakes, as his Taj Mahal. Convicted of fraud, conspiracy, and other charges in 1989, Mr. Bilzerian remained entrenched in this palace for two decades while SEC lawyers were trying to collect the $62 million Mr. Bilzerian owed the U.S. government, a judgment he says was unjust. How did Mr. Bilzerian and his wife live there for so long? In May 1991, Mr. Bilzerian and his wife, Terry Stephan, transfer the home's full title into her name. In August of that year, Mr. Bilzerian files for bankruptcy. While he is away in federal prison for 13 months, his wife is sued by the bankruptcy trustee attempting to recover her husband's interest in this and two other homes the couple owned. She settles for $310,000. Later, she transfers the property back to joint ownership with her husband. In 1997, with the SEC still chasing Mr. Bilzerian's assets, ownership of the mansion is transferred to a Nevada partnership owned by an offshore trust that initially has, according to court records, Mr. Bilzerian and his wife as beneficiaries and trustees. His family continues living there, even as Mr. Bilzerian, in a court filing, has said he has no assets other than used clothing, a used Casio watch, and the like. But in 2000, a federal court finds him in contempt of the SEC judgment, noting he's transferred substantial assets into a complex ownership structure of offshore trusts and family-owned companies and partnerships. He sent back to prison. The court counts the mansion among the $15 million in assets it says Mr. Bilzerian and his wife have in an offshore trust. Ms. Stephan strikes a deal with the feds to get her husband out of jail. It means selling the mansion, which she does, to another partnership. This time, records show it's one controlled partly by a neighbor's mother. Though the SEC doesn't know it, Mr. Bilzerian's in-laws gain a 99% interest in the house first through a corporation and then a trust. His family keeps living there at no expense and his two sons are later designated as beneficiaries. One of them is Dan Bilzerian, who will later become a professional gambler and a star on YouTube, known to his fans for his avid gun collecting and his playboy lifestyle. At the end of the day, money's really freedom because when you got a lot of money, you can do whatever you want. Nobody can tell you what to do. He grew up in the Tampa mansion. The partnership that owns the house goes into bankruptcy after a dispute between the neighbor's mother and Mr. Bilzerian about how or when to sell the house. A state judge calling Bilzerian and Stefan squatters orders the couple to leave, but they don't. Dare Holdings, run by an auctioneer Stefan has worked for, buys the home for more than five and a half million dollars in late 2006 and allows the couple to stay. The company received help financing its purchase of the mansion from a charity located in Bermuda called the Puma Foundation, which is run by Ms. Stefan and named after a family cat. Dare Holdings will eventually pay Ms. Stefan to manage the property and she's allowed to stay there. Days before the purchase, Bilzerian's mother-in-law steps back in and acquires majority interest in Dare Holdings through a trust. When Dare runs short of cash, the mansion's rented out, starting in 2009, for at least $10,000 a month. When it's being rented, Paul and Terry stay at another house Ms. Stefan owns nearby. Mr. Bilzerian also helps Dare take out a second mortgage on the mansion. His family continues to live there rent-free. In 2012, a judge rules that Dare Holdings is acting as a front for Ms. Stefan, who is also in bankruptcy, though she denies owning the house. The house goes into foreclosure, and she's told to leave the house, but refuses. In 2013, a federal court judge in Tampa gives the family a month to vacate. Ms. Stefan joins her husband, who's already moved to their son Adam's condo in St. Kitts in the Caribbean. The receiver estimates she'll ultimately collect about $3.7 million of the $62 million SEC judgment and spend $8.6 million to do it. And what happens to the mansion? It's bought at the foreclosure auction by the bank that holds the mortgage, which purchases it for around $2 million. The bank plans to put it back on the market in the fall for about $6.5 million. A person familiar with the matter says the IRS will vet potential buyers to see whether they have any connection to the Bilzerian family.